Hey guys, so one of the biggest questions I get um, when I talk, well, I get a lot of big questions, but one of the most consistent over the years is, hey, what do you do for free? What can I get for free? Can I do a free trial? Can I do a free month? Can I do a free week? Can I do something for free? What do you give me for free? And we used to do some free stuff, but we don't anymore because we've seen the how um, wrong free really is in so many respects. So we don't really do anything for free. Why? Because we want to deliver to you a service that makes sense for you and you actually grow with. So free typically, in all cases, I'm going to say that, I'm not going to say typically, free when someone offers it is usually a sales pitch to get you in. So they throw out something for free or something at discount. Groupon's great at this. Groupon is horrible for businesses. Those that are business owners, click amen on that, right? Groupon is horrible. Those, those ideas. So we used to do Groupon and this is what we would do. We created an entire class at seven o'clock just for people on Groupon because my member said, you're spending so much time catching everyone up every month because it only lasts for like a month or whatever it was. You're not really teaching me. So free or super discounted is hurting members. So if you care about your customers, in, in our case, client or uh, members of the gym, free is actually detrimental to them. So if you're doing free, you're harming the people in the gym because you're putting your priority on something else. And it's not really free. The amount they pay pays for the amount the other people aren't. So they're paying for people to get free and not getting their coaching. So we don't do free anymore. So we'd stick them in a class at seven o'clock because that, at least they all went to the same place. And we tried to give them the experience, but it wasn't the same experience because I, most of them aren't staying. They don't really care, right? So anyway, free is never free. If you get a month free at a gym or a month free of whatever, somebody is paying for that. There is nothing for free. No business stays in business for free. It just, well, I guess if they're on government, well, then you're paying for taxes. So if you're getting on government subsidies, then you know, if they're getting government money, like, I don't know, public school, it's, it's not free. You're paying for it in your taxes. It's paid for somewhere. Um, anyway, so free is not good. So here, here's why it's not good for you. If you go to, and we're specifically talking uh, gyms, uh, if you go to a gym that says, hey, yeah, a free week, let's do it. A free month, let's do it. They can't deliver to you what you're actually getting. For example, we do something here at the gym called Forever Coaching. So we're really big on coaching, mentoring, and accountability. So we say that anybody that signs up gets a coach outside of the gym to help them with their uh, health and fitness goals, right? And sometimes it's other stuff outside of that realm, but that's primarily obviously what we do. So we can't give a free person that because that costs me money. So they're going to come in, try for the experience and the help that we offer, and they're not going to get it because I, I can't pay. Unless I charge current members more, it's gonna come from somewhere, so it's not free. So they're not getting the same experience. So if you're in your fitness journey and you're like, man, what do I do? Let me go for free, let me go for Groupon, don't do it. If you really wanna fix something, pay for it. It's, it's nuts, I promise you. If you found a coach that you could spend a thousand dollars a month on, you would be fixed because they're going to do everything in their power to get you fixed. So they're going to say, "What are your goals? Let's hit those things." A thousand dollars a month? Heck yeah, let's do this thing. If any one of you out there are having are struggling and you're like, "I want a guaranteed successful program," my, pay my coaches a thousand dollars a month, and I guarantee you will have the success you desire. Now, I mean, obviously, if you're like, "I want to lose fifty pounds in one week." I mean, I used to wrestle, so I could probably help you lose 50 pounds in one week, but you'll probably die. So that's not what you want. So we'll come up with goals that make sense. But if you're like, I'm at my wits end, get a mentor, get a coach, pay the crap out of them to get you what you need. I mean, seriously, think about it. I, you, hopefully you want to live to your 90s. So part of our mantra in our gym, we have it posted on the wall. We're happy, humble, helpful people. We want to be healthy and fit now, as well as when we're 90. If somebody comes up and says, go to the games, get me fit. I'm like, we're not your gym. Don't come to us. We're not in it for right now. We're in it for later on when we want to have that healthy, long lifestyle later, right? So we'll help you adjust your goals and our coaches will work with you. You can't have that when it's free. So if you're going and you're looking for a place or you're group hunting or jumping or bouncing, the reason it doesn't work is because it's free and you're bouncing. It's not rocket science. Pay for something good, right? Um, Ask an insurance person, right? Term versus whole. Which one costs more? Which one's actually va more valuable in the end, right? So, of course, I know every product has its reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, if you want something and you want it to work, pay for it. 
That's why we don't do free. And if you search for free, you're not going to get what you want. Um, so, yeah. So why it's bad for uh, the business? Somebody pays for it. Uh, it's it. I think this is an easy statement. It's just nothing is free in life. You can, I mean, even you can even buy water, right? So they charge. I think there's even oxygen bars in places, right? You can pay for everything. So there's really nothing that's free. Even a house. If you buy your house outright and you own that puppy, it's not free. If you don't pay your taxes, they'll take it from you. And you're like, well, I own it. No, like, yeah, you don't. You own the right to pay us uh, county and city taxes for that property that you think you own. Unless, I don't know, you're a king of that property, you don't own it. So, uh, anyway, free does not truly exist. We don't really offer anything for free. We do have a consultation, so we do have sales. I mean, every company is going to have sales. It's the outbound person who talks to those coming like, hey, I'm just interested, let's talk. Somebody has to talk. I mean, I, you, I suppose you could charge for that, but I think you'd have a lot less people interested in at least talking. So, there is a cost to that. So, yes memberships or business the cost of products has built into it the biz or the the job of sales that's not necessarily saying that you're getting the product whatever it is for free um you're getting a talk with an employee and that's going to cost it costs somebody so typically the current customers pay for that thing right so how small is that free how small is that conversation how much is everybody chipping in for everybody else to uh come see what's going on um, anyway, nothing's ever free and it doesn't really work when you do free. If you find a gym, that's actually one thing. So when people say, Andy, help me find it. And I have had several of you guys do this. I love it when it's in Georgia because I actually know a lot of those gyms and health, or fitness facilities. If in Woodstock, even better. When it's out of state, a little bit tough. But the things I look for when it's out of state is I look for a mission and vision statement and a little motto. Because if they don't know that, they don't even know. They don't even know how to help. Like, Are you on the same train? Are you climbing the right ladder? So... They're like, we're getting people to the games, baby. And you're like, that's not me. Well, then don't go to that gym, right? So I look for that and I try to pair it up with, well, what is it that you want and why? What's your vision of the future? Have goals, have a why, right? We talked about that a lot. So then I look in there and say, what do they do for free? If there's a lot of free stuff, then it's not a very good gym. It's not going to work out or fitness facility, whatever it is. It's, it's well, especially in today's time uh, with COVID, a lot of, facilities are trying to put people under contracts because they're having a rough time of it. For us, we say, and we've built our business on this, if we're not doing our job, fire us, right? It's month to month. Everything is, we don't have contracts because if you don't like us, leave. If we're not coaching, mentoring, and keeping you accountable, don't pay, just, right? So anyway, Free is not the best way to go. Free, so everybody pays for it. The, the bigger problem is you pay for it. You're thinking, oh, I'm getting all this great. You're not. You, they're not giving you the attention you really deserve, especially when you're like, oh, I got a month for free. Nah, you're just lumped in with the free people and you, they're like, ah, we'll try to half-ass the sale. I don't know, right? So it's not good for you. So uh, I got my, look at my notes real quick. Um, yeah, so you want to actually... Take your health and fitness seriously. So if you are like me, you're in your, getting into your 50s or 60s. I'm not there yet, but I'm, I'm you know, getting into my 50s. Your kids, you're, you're in that new phase of life. You're like, okay, I should probably have taken care of myself. Man, it is not hard. Find a mentor, find a coach, find a facility to invest in. If you don't know where to go, call me, uh, text me. I'm not great on text. Call me. Um, email. I'm actually the best on email. I, I guess, I don't know, I grew up in the email era. So I still have a Yahoo email address. It's... At least I don't have maybe like uh, AOL. I don't have that. So all you AOL, AOL people, woo woo, way to go. But um, ask, and I will help you find something that makes sense. If you're at your wits end and you're like I, and you're in Woodstock, and you're like I don't know what to do, but I'm willing to pay anything. I guarantee you, you pay one of my coaches a thousand dollars a month, you will be healthy and fit. Bam, I, I guarantee. Pay for service that you want and the quality and the delivery that you want. If you want to pay a dollar, yeah, you're not going to get crap. You're going to end up uh, unhealthy and fat and whatever, and that's just how it is. If you want success, you need to pay a higher level, which is coaching, mentoring, and accountability. And how do you get that? Find a business that focuses on that, right? Or gym in this case, right? It could be anything. If you want your kid to be better at baseball, find a place that's willing to offer you the success with a plan and it's not free. I 
man, uh, Titan Baseball Academy, great place, costs money because they do a great job, right? Okay, I think that's enough on that. If you need help, I'm here to help. Help first, great book for, from uh, Mike Michalowicz. And um, anyway, I hope you guys have a great journey.